This video is about cat cramps. What is cat cramps? The bucket can be your good friend. Let me just put it there. Yesterday's video, I asked if I was making a mistake eating the, the two peppers I ate, which were the second and third peppers of the day. Cap cramps is a topic that it gets mentioned here and there. And I mean, everybody knows that it's really bad, but nobody really gets into to what it is. And anybody that's seen anything I've said about it or read in comments from Chase the Heat and wherever I've, I've written things. And the discussion I had, I'm new at this. I've, I've been eating super hots for what, two weeks now. And uh, the, the question is, what is cap cramps? What is it? And I still want to know exactly what it is. I know some of the symptoms. And in the discussion I had with my doctor, I believe that his opinion and my opinion, which things he said confirmed my opinion without me telling him what my opinion was. And my experience uh, just a few hours ago, actually, I'm going to get out of the way, is that a lot of it has to do with gas, plain and simple. But what causes gas? that's where you, the, the whole thing kind of gets more complex. So when my day started out yesterday, I didn't eat until about four in the afternoon. And that's when I had jalapenos, tortillas, and that's about it. A little sour cream with it. And uh, then... Just prior to eating that, um, uh, whatever the green one was, gator or something or another, just before eating that, I had a banana. Now, that's all I had. And then I ate the gator thing. And, uh, Of course, there was no problems, and I followed that up after eating that. I don't remember what it was. Probably a couple of tortillas, you know, something like that. I, I'm not, I don't eat a whole lot. And I was fine, completely fine. That was at about 6.15, 6 o'clock, 6 6.15 yesterday afternoon. And... After going through the box of pods I got, I've had them for about a, I'm going on a week, I guess. And some of them were getting squishy. Oh, I don't want to waste anything. So I asked, well, I'll eat two squishy ones today. And then I think I've got two or three more that I was planning on eating just boom, boom tonight. Um, let me just put it this way. I ate those two peppers with some crackers and sour cream. And then about an hour after I ate it and I ate those at around nine o'clock, give or take. And about an hour or so after that, I had a can of fruit cocktail. And, uh... I might have had a couple more crackers after that, too. That was it. Nine o'clock-ish. Okay, ten o'clock, the fruit cocktail. So, 
no problems, n no nothing. And about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, I started getting them grumbles. I was like, uh-oh, getting gas. So I knew what was coming, I thought. And so I made my way to the bathroom and uh, dealt with it. gas, plain and simple. All over and done with, I think, okay, no different than any of the other experiences I've had over the last two weeks eating super hots. I get done. And I came back in here and I sat down. And that whole, one of the symptoms that your stomach is fighting something is you start salivating a lot. I mean, drooling. And then it, your, as your stomach is literally doing this and they're trying to get whatever's in it out. And it doesn't care if it goes this way or that way. And it had been several hours since the last thing I'd eaten, which was just fruit cocktail. And, of course, plenty of water, you know. And uh, so I thought, well, I'm, I'm getting the gas thing again. I almost didn't make it to the bathroom. And whenever, that's why I keep this handy for just in case. I get to the bathroom and there really wasn't much in there to come out, but it did. And then the, the pain kind of started. And, you know, it was the same gas pain, but worse. And let me tell you, it got a lot worse. Not only did I have that normal gas problem coming on, but I had everything coming on. And over the next hour, I would bet you, you know, remember, I hadn't eaten much all day. I hadn't, didn't eat much yesterday or the day before. I mean, I just really don't eat a whole lot. I guarantee you, I eliminated things I ate in high school. <laughs> it was bad. So anybody, the, the purpose of this video is simple. If you're, let's just say, curious about eating super hots, and you stumble around videos that mention the cat cramps, people will tell you it's horrible, it's this, it's that. And, you know, prepping when you're eating a super hot is really important. And I mean, I've like the day I ate the yogurt that uh, blood ghost, it didn't bother me at all. So yogurt may be an answer. Uh, a banana several hours before isn't the answer. Uh, nothing for three hours prior to two super hots is not the answer. Uh, it's one of those things I think that everybody has to do a trial and error as to what works for them. And that's what boils down to the purpose of this video is if you've ever had cat cramps, I mean, bad one, be sure to comment share a link to a video or something that you've done and 
because there's going to be a lot of new folks that will stumble into this video or those videos or whatever. And like me, I, I hunted and tried to find the answer to what is cap cramps. Let me just put it down as simple as I can. Cap cramps is your body getting rid of something that shouldn't be there the way that it's there. I mean, your body is rejecting everything inside you. And, oh, I learned a couple of weeks ago, I heard about uh, something that goes along with cap cramps and that family of things, which is referred to as fire hose. You don't want to get fire hose. Let me tell you, you don't want to get fire hose. When your body is doing everything it can to get this stuff out of you, got capsation finds another way out besides the back door and the front door. And I think that was probably, I mean, everybody's let loose, you know, upchucked at some point in their life. Uh, fortunately for me, the, the fiery stuff was already past my stomach. Wasn't nothing left in there. It was, that part back there was affecting from the gas and all that in my stomach. It all kind of added up to, to cause pretty violent episode that it lasted about an hour. And once it was over, though, it was over. But fire hose, that's another thing. You don't want to get fire hose. So make sure you eat plenty when you prep. Good greasy cheeseburger something. Anything. Because I believe that part of the problem comes in when you've got an empty stomach, your stomach hasn't activated to turn on its acid making machine. When you eat greasy stuff, your stomach starts producing all this acid. I think that helps eliminate the problem before it gets started. That's, that's my theory. So from now on, I'm going to eat something that's greasier than sour cream. Because that's what I kind of thought sour cream would help with. Anyway, please, everybody, if you've ever had cat cramps, if you've ever experienced the fire hose, leave a comment, leave a link. Help new people that may be hunting for this find some answers. And just remember, eat a lot. Take it easy.